Now, this is a very important video because men as a whole have to adapt a new mindset. And I'm going to break this down for you at the deepest level humanly possible that I can do. Okay? So stick with me because this is a very important discussion today. Now, I also put together like a little gift for you, right? If you go down and you look at the description link, you're going to see a put together gift. I'm sure you're going to be very, very, very satisfied with what I made for you. Stop trying to please women. No, seriously, just like take a second and like actually let that statement sink in. Like stop, completely stop trying to please women. Stop trying to please a woman in all ways, shapes and forms. Assuming that your actions should 100% of the time dictate their happiness is exactly why you're losing. Just like, let, let this sink in for a second. Stop completely, completely stop trying to please women. Now, you might be sitting here thinking, well, why? Why is that bad? Or you might be sitting there thinking, well, I want a girlfriend one day, or I want a... Uh, I want to, I want something short term. I want something long term, right? I want to actually have somebody. Okay. You need to understand this and the, you, you need to understand this at any age. I don't care if you're watching this in high school. I don't care if you're watching this in college. I don't care if you're watching this and you're 55 years old. Doesn't matter. Stop trying to please women. The reason is because women will always focus on what's missing. Women focus on what they don't have. Women focus on what they do not yet possess. They do not yet have. You can give the you you can give a woman the world and she serves you with divorce. You can give a woman the world everything that the world has to offer. Do you know what she says? More. I want more. It's not good enough. You can give a woman a 10,000 square foot house, okay, every Louis Vuitton purse possible. You can give a woman a brand new Bentley and a G-Wagon and a Cadillac Escalade. You can give her three or four or five or six or seven or eight beautiful children. And she'll look at you and say it's not enough. Because you understand, things have been reversed. When I say things have been reversed, it's in her nature to please you. It is in her nature to serve you. So I'm going to give you perfect analogies to let this sink in. Because what I've found is oftentimes guys truly don't understand this until you really hear this shit word for word and you let this sink in. If you're an assertive guy... If you're like I'm, 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 I wrote this down because I, I do not want to misstep my words because this is important for the message to actually let this sink in. If you are an assertive guy and you're more alpha, okay, you're, you're more alpha, you're more assertive, you're leading, you have frame. You know how to get her into a playful state where she wants to consistently be with you, right? She's constantly qualifying to you. If you're assertive and more alpha, she might sit there and go, gosh, I miss having a guy to text me, baby, good morning. I love you every day. She said, God, if only, if only he just would text me, God, good morning. I love you so much. If only he sent me a paragraph talking about how much he can't stop thinking about me. Women focus on what's missing. Now let's reverse that. If you're a more passive guy with weak body language, now all of a sudden her language changes. Now all of a sudden it's, oh, I wish I had a man who was more manly and more assertive. A guy who just puts it down the right way in the bedroom. Okay, but then she could have that guy and then all of a sudden you know what it is. It's, God, I wish a guy who just knew how to go with the flow sometimes and not be so controlling. Okay, you, you actually can't win. If you're rich, 
Like, let this sink in. If you're rich, she's going to say, God, I miss having a guy who's fun and can live in the moment. Multimillionaire. She's going to say, God, he's just not fun. He's always working. I miss having a guy who can live in the moment with me. I miss having a guy who can make me laugh. I miss having a guy who can make me smile. I miss having a guy who wasn't so focused on money. And eventually she looks at you and goes, does it always have to be about money? Is that all you're about? You can be CEO of a, of a big company, big big tech company, a Fortune 500 company. She, you're going to come home eventually from work. She looks at you, just another day again, huh? Another day at the office, huh? Nothing new. Bored of you. Bored just looking at you. Take this in reverse. If you're broke and you live in the moment with her every single day, you're constantly giving her an emotional roller coaster. She constantly feels something when she's around you. She constantly wants to be by your side because you're fun. If you're broke, eventually she goes, will he ever grow up? I wish I had a man with stability. I wish I could find a stable man who I find a future with, who I know that when I go to bed at night, things are safe, things are well taken care of. I wish I had a man who was more orderly, a man's man. Men lose women because women focus on what's missing. You can be a professional basketball player and she may wonder at night what it's like to have an NFL football quarterback. Women focus on what's missing. You need to stop trying to please women. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm a prick. I'm not trying to sound like I'm bitter. I'm not trying to sound like I'm jaded. Because making this video right now, I'm 27 years old. Right, This isn't coming from a guy who's 85 years old and been married 20 times over and every divorce failed him. Yeah, I'm telling you this with like somewhat of a pure heart because this is true. You need to stop trying to please women. It is not in their nature to be pleased. You have to understand this. A woman cannot be pleased. They can't be pleased. It is impossible. Take the story of Adam and Eve. They're in the garden. She's given the world. Every tree, every fruit, anything you want. Anything you want, lady, it's all yours. Everything. God gave you the world, just like you gave her that G-Wagon, that Bentley, and that brand new Maserati. And she says, more. I don't want that fruit from that tree. I want that one. More. More. Give me more. I love that story. Because it was Adam's job to look and say, no. No. I'm the leader. No, these are the rules. I said so. That is hypergamy in a nutshell. Listening to a woman. That is the downfall of men. That is the downfall of every man. Listening to a woman. The second you listen to a woman and what a woman wants, go outside and take a look at the world once. This is the world that you're left with. Go on Instagram and look what these women post. This is the world that you're left with. <laughs> you happy now? You waking up yet to understanding how serious this actually is? You listen to a woman, she will lead you to the gates of hell because you let her. So God comes down on it. This is why, whether you believe in the story or not, I don't care. This is the essence of it. God comes down, he looks at Adam, he says, What, what like, dude, really? He, he ain't even yelling at her right now. He ain't even saying like, lady, what are you up to? He's looking at him. He said, dude, really? I gave you one rule and that was you're, you're, leading, you're leading the show. You lead the show here. You couldn't even do that. That is hypergamy. She wants a man to tell her no, don't do that because I said so. Men have lost that ability. 
If you allow yourself to trust a woman's words, she will lead you to the gates of hell. Because it's in her nature. She can't control it. You understand this, right? They can't control it. Everyone who is bitter about female nature, everyone who's bitter about circumstances with women, everybody who's bitter about how modern women act in the current world, it is from weak masculinity. They follow our lead. Do you understand this? If women are rewarded through promiscuity, posting those sorts of pictures, what do you think that they're going to continue to do? You need to stop trying to please a woman. So how do you do this? Well, it starts with adapting the right mindset. You adapt the mindset that they need to please you. And I'm not just talking about in the bedroom. I'm talking about in all ways. If you're out, you're at a bar, you're at a restaurant, you're at a social event, there's an attractive woman that you're talking to. You notice that maybe she's boring. Maybe she said something weird. See, you're so worried about you. You're, you're so worried about you being boring. You're so worried about you being weird. You're so worried about you being socially calibrated. What about her? Does she get a hall pass because she has a cute smile? Do you understand what this have came, this has came to? There is no standard. When I say adapt the mindset that it is their job to please you, I am not just talking about in the bedroom. I'm talking about in all ways. If you're out at a social event and she says something weird, stand up and leave. Walk away. Mid-sentence. No explanation. Just like they would do if you were out, if you were at a bar. You say something weird, they look at their friend, they walk away. Make it her job to please you. Make it her job to serve you, to bring the right vocal tone, to say the right things, to keep you entertained, to make you happy. Have the mindset that it's their job to make you happy. Now, what does that take, though? Well, that's going to take men caring. So you can't do this if all you care about is getting pleased in the bedroom. You need to care Men don't care anymore. You don't care that she posts provocative photos on the internet. You don't care that she's rude to you half the time. You don't care. As long as one to two days a week, you guys get to have that fun time in bed. Because that's all men have cared about. The only way to hold women to a different standard is you have to care. Care about the things they do for you. Care about the things that they say. Care about... The things that will make you feel good inside. This doesn't have anything to do with self-improving. This doesn't have anything to do with making more money. This doesn't have anything to do with telling yourself you're high value because you have a blue check mark on Instagram. That stuff is stupid. The backbone of masculinity is what I'm talking about right here. This is frame. Okay? This is how you set a standard. Being a masculine man is about how you act. Not the digits in your bank account. You're not your self-improvement journey. You're not 6% body fat. Those things don't matter. You are who you are. And you can act this way with $5 to your name or 50 grand to your name. It doesn't matter. The point that I'm trying to make is if you adapt the mindset that it is their job to start to please you, this is when you get ahead. Make them bring value to your life outside of the bedroom. And this starts with you and me, any man on planet Earth. Stop rewarding promiscuity on social media. You have to understand, look at the hundreds or the thousands of likes and the hundreds or the thousands of comments that these girls are getting through posting stuff that we claim we don't want. Every man claims they don't want women to act this way. Look what you're rewarding. Look what most men are rewarding. Every double tap on social media, every like or every heart on that picture, every hard eyes comment, you are reinforcing behavior that you claim you don't want. Men need a comeback in how they think. Men need to stop trying to please women because you can't. Women look at what's missing. 
If you're a rich, she, she says, I wish I had a guy who lived in the moment and didn't have so much work stress. If you're broke and live in the moment, she says, I wish I had a man who was established. Stop trying to please women.